Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Just grab yourself a nice cup of tea and some snacks. Mine is a Diet Coke in my sweater weather mug. I'm actually going to top myself up in a minute, actually, because I've just filmed another craft. So I thought, well, I can get a little bit of help with Albert. I thought I'd just film a few different um, craft videos. So today I'm going to be showing, I'm going to have a sip first, sorry. I mean, talking <laughs> as usual in my videos. Um, so today's video, I wanted to show you how you can get cheap craft items from the pound shop and we can turn them into really beautiful items like decor pieces at home, really, really cheaply. Um, so a lot of these pieces you can get in other shops too. You might even be able to get them cheaper, but I just wanted to let you know all of these things are available in the pound shop. Um, so let's get into the video. So the first one that I wanted to show you was I wanted to make some really beautiful Scandinavian looking trees. So in the pound shop, they do these polystyrene um, tree forms in a pack of two for a pound. Now, if you can't get hold of these, you can use card and make it this way, or you can even use party hats from the party section and do it that way, which I have done before. I think I've done a craft a few years back where we made them all glitter um, and made like a Christmassy scene using party hats. It was really nice. Um, but I'm going to use these foam ones, not foam, polystyrene, because you can get these in places like the works and the range as well. Um, so first off, I'm just gonna put my glue gun on and now all you're gonna need is either some ribbon or some string, cotton, but I'm gonna be using wool. I have so much wool and you can get wool in the pound shop as well, including ones like this. Um, this one's actually from Home Bargains, this lovely green, and this was 99p, um, but they do sell these sort of colors in the pound shop. So I'm gonna start off by finding my end of yarn or wool or whatever it is and then i'm going to get my hot glue gun and i'm just going to put a little dollop of glue on the very top i'm going to put another stick in as well to make sure it starts melting properly and then i'm just going to put my bit of cotton or yarn whatever you're using over the top like that i'm then going to come back over oh this bit's a little bit fiddly, back over and across. So we've got like a little cross there. And then I'm gonna use a tiny bit more glue at one of the sides. Oh, I'm not very, I can't, I'm not very good at showing. <laughs> I'm not being cack Um, Here we go. Right, once I get this little bit started, a little bit of glue to start me off, we will be on the road. So hold these bits of wool down and then I'm just gonna start by wrapping the wool, there we go, really slowly around the whole entirety of the tree. And because we've got that bit of glue at the top, it will hold it down nice and neatly. Now you don't really need a lot of glue for this. You could also use sticky double side tape. I just think a bit of hot glue would be best for this. Um, and as you go down, you can use any colors. You could stop here, add another dollop of um, glue, and then do use a different color. So you can make different color striped trees if you wanted to, um, or ombre effect. I'm just gonna go all the way down. You don't really need to add any more glue, but I always sort of like, as I get halfway down, I'll use a bit more glue and it makes it a bit more sturdy as we go down. Um, and I'm just wrapping the whole thing in wool and it'll look really, really pretty. Oh, <laughs> takes a little while. Perhaps we could sing some festive songs. Perhaps you could have some festive songs playing in the background. I'm not allowed to play them on here. Um, <laughs> YouTube won't allow me to play a little bit of chestnuts roasted on an open fire. <laughs> right. I don't want to get too sloppy with it, but I always find that my crafts, when I do them at home, always end up far neater and nicer than when I'm trying to do them on YouTube. And it's because I feel like in my head, like sometimes I'll like look back as I'm going through it and it isn't half as long as it seemed in my head, but it felt like an actual eternity while I'm filming it. And um, so another little bit of glue just on the side. I'll show you. I've just run a little bit of glue down the side. So to the end, so it'll be really secure. Another thing as well, if you do this super, super neat, it looks really smooth like this, but if you do overlap it, you get this really nice texture. So you can go really slow with it. 
or you can overlap it. I'll show you what I've done with the other one. So I've already done one. I'm like Blue Peter. I've got one prepared earlier for you. So I do like the smoothness of this, but I do actually really like the texture of it wrapped around. And I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a, a homemade feel. And trees are textural, aren't they? Textural, is that a word? Um, they do have texture. And then we will go all the way down to the bottom with this and then just add a tiny bit of glue right around the bottom rim to make sure that it's all stuck in place. Like we had to on the top, you have to go really slowly with this bit, wait until one bit's stuck down, hold it for a bit to make sure that it isn't gonna move as you pull it round. And you can really finish these off really nice and neat at the bottom if you just take your time and basically don't do what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna snip the end off, leaving it a little bit longer on there on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of glue underneath and I'm just gonna pop that, I'm not touching it, I'm using my scissors to pop it down. And then I'll trim that in a second. So then what you're ending up with is one of these little wall trees that look really, really cute. Now, if you do these in different shades, they'll look really, really sweet. What I also have is you can get these from the pound shop. Let me find them and I don't know what I've done with them. So you can get these from the pound shop. These were what I just already had in my shed, in my stock. So I got these little pom-poms. You can get larger ones, but I really like the fact that these are really tiny. So with my glue, all I'm gonna do is just pop a few of these with the tiniest bits of glue. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on these and then pop them all on the tree to make them look like ball balls. I've done one earlier, I know this is so blue Peter, in a darker green and pop them all over and they look really, really sweet. But I do wanna make these look even nicer. So you can just have them laid flat like this, they'll look really sweet. But what I do want to jazz them up a bit. So I do have some dowel rods. Now these come in a pack of 10, I've only got five left. Um, but these these ones are from the works and they've got the works ones in. So they have these exact ones in the pound shop as well. And they have shorter ones in the pound shop. So you might need to cut your ones down. Um, and they have, I think it's a pack of like 10 as well in the pound shop. Um, and I'm just gonna cut them down with just some side cutters. Just going around slowly to make sure and then just it will snap off. I'm gonna have this one. All I'm going to do is pop this right in the center because this is a little polystyrene. Pop it into the center as far as it will go, making sure we try and do it nice and straight. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna cut that down a little bit more, you know, because I want that a little bit shorter. So, just twisting it, because I'd, I'd rather break it like that, just a bit easier. Um, and then I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit of glue on the end of this, so that once I pop it into the bottom, it will make it much more secure. Pop it in. Wiggle it about a little bit to make sure that it's nice and stuck which it is. Um, and then I've got some of these. So these are from the pound shop as well. So they have a packet of three, which I think is a bit stingy. I think they could have put a few more in of these little log slices. Um, and all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of glue to the center, hot glue to the center. And then I'm gonna hold this on. Now I'm gonna keep this held for a little while. <laughs> Because otherwise, it, it, you know, I've got to wait until it dries properly. Otherwise, it will just fall because it's so top heavy. Um, but as you can see, you could make a whole village of these. You could even cut down the polystyrene trees to make slightly smaller versions. So you could get a little bread knife or something and cut just this section off. So you could just have smaller ones. You could make a little village of all different sizes. Um, and it'd be a really cheap way of doing it. Obviously you could keep the bottom parts of it and you could just make other things with those, the bottoms of snowman bodies and stuff if you wanted to. So that's actually dry now and how cute is that little tree? I just think that that's absolutely gorgeous. I am gonna take it one step further. So all you need is a sheet of paper. Um, I'm gonna get a pencil because I feel like if I draw around a star, I'll have better luck. Um, with the star because I'm not very good at cutting freehand. So you could just get wooden stars 
um, they do sell little packets of them, but I don't see the need to do that when we can cut a little star. See, even drawing them, I'm not the greatest star drawer <laughs> in the world. And I don't know why I decided to put it right in the middle of the paper. It would have been easier at the edge. I dare say I'll get a few people say that, but it's fine because I keep my little scraps anyway, and I'm making loads of little hanging decorations today. So let's just cut round the star of Bethlehem. Right. <laughs> I've got my concentration face on, but I have. All right. <laughs> Nearly done. So yeah, we've got a cute little, not the perfect, most perfect one in the world, but it doesn't matter. Little bit of hot glue. It's even more special that it's homemade. And I love that the book paper makes it look really vintage. How cute are these little slight trees? So you can make a couple of these, stack them up, They'll look absolutely adorable. Do one shorter in height, one in a higher height, and they'll just look beautiful. I'm going to finish this one off, and I'll show you what they look like at the end um, together. But yeah, I'm really happy with those. The next thing I'm going to show you what to do isn't really a craft craft. It's more putting stuff together, thoughtfully. Um, so all you're going to need is a glass jar. Um, I've got this one, I've got it out of my cupboard, but the pound shop do loads of glass jars. And in actual fact, you don't really need a massive jar for this. I've got a packet of this fake snow from the pound shop. It's called Snow Confetti and there's 80 grams. It's only a pound for this. There's a little hole in it. So all you need to do is you can probably use a jar at home or wash out a sauce jar. Could be free to do that. I'm just going to pour this in. So, so far, oh, it's all right, actually. It's a perfect amount. Not too much worries. Um, so I'm going to pour my little snow in this. How gorgeous is that? So, so far, we're on to a pound. Now... Um, if anyone remembers, I bought these when it was like Halloween time. They do a pack of like little retro cars in the pound shop. They always do them in the toy section. Um, so literally I've got a packet of free cars and one of these little ones are in it, this little red Mini Cooper. I thought this was adorable and I actually said I'm going to save this for a Christmas craft. So this is my idea now what to do with this. So I've just got some foliage. Um, I always keep bits of foliage off of Christmas trees or reefs. Um, because I just think that they're really cute. Um, and also, it saved me buying a Christmas tree to pop on the top of this. So I'm gonna take a few of the little stems with just some cutters and make like these sort of, get like little ones about this big. Um, they do have picks in the pound shop in their foliage section. They're probably about as big as that for a pound. You don't get a lot, but that is all you'd probably need. Or you could get packets of Christmas trees in there if you'd rather. I just think this is just nice sometimes just to craft. So sometimes it ain't just about saving money. Sometimes it's about actually sitting there and doing the craft in the first place. I just really enjoy it. Cut off a few sections. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue these together in a bunch like this, sort of imitating a Christmas tree. I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on them and glue them together. and then they sort of look like a bit Christmas tree-y. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna just snip them a bit more straight to look a bit more like a Christmas tree. And then with a tiny piece of string or cotton, whatever you've got laying about, I'm just gonna tie some twine around it. The glue is still hot, so that's perfect. If not, you can just add another piece of the um, glue. Now you can tie this with some florist wire so you can reuse the car for something else. Um, I'm just gonna hot glue this on because I actually gonna keep this as a little Christmassy one. I'm just gonna pop the little Christmas tree on top. It's gonna look actually so, so cute. You know, you get the little trucks that have the Christmas tree on top. Literally just to, in the toy section of the pound shop. It's nothing, you know, any foliage you've got going on. 
I've also got some wood slices. These come in a pack of three, I just said, obviously, from the pound shop. So this is gonna look like he's gone and picked up his own tree from in the forest. I'm just gonna pop a couple of wood slices in. If you are gonna use wood slices, then definitely you're gonna need a bigger jar. I think one at the back there. I'm gonna pop my car in. <laughs> Lucky I've got quite little hands. And then with the rest of the foliage I've got, I'm gonna mark it him. I'm gonna make another imitation tree to stand up in the background. So with this one, look at how that da 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 da. So I think you could trim these down to look like a tree. Try and go a bit careful so you can still get like a bit asymmetrically, so eight perfectly straight, because they look a little bit better when they're a bit sharp still. And then with the leftover dowel, you can use a lolly stick for this, anything you want. I'm just gonna tie some string around this again as well with a little bit of hot glue. You could do a few of these little trees. I think they'd look really sweet. Last bit of hot glue just to tie that bit of ribbon down. These little boys just makes me smile so much. And then I'm just gonna pop this little tree in the background. I've got to try and level this out a bit. I'm gonna pick a little bit of the snow out as well with my hand while I'm in there. <laughs> the tree in the background stand it up in the snow and then I'm going to sprinkle some of the snow onto the car and then we're going to pop our lid back on and we've got a little winter scene in there and it's cost all of about so your jar you can use any that you've got at home but say metaphorically you've got to buy one say two pound because the larger ones in the pound shop are two pound not one so two Free because you have to get the car for. So this is five pound to make this and you wouldn't get something as beautiful and as classy as that. Something like this would easily be 15 pound for that size. Um, so I'm just gonna pop that to the side and that looks really, really cute. And then the last craft, there was another one that I wanted to show you, but I can't remember. Oh yes, the last craft I wanted to show you. So I will link the video in the description box below because I showed you guys, um, how you can turn. So in the pound shop, they do canvases. So what you can do is take the canvas, like this size, take the canvas off with the staples off and then use the frame, stain it with coffee or tea or a stain if you've got one at home um, or you could paint this frame so it hasn't got to be like a rustic wood. And then you pop the canvas on the back and glue it on the back. I will link the video below, it shows you how to do that. Um, if not, you can buy a wooden photo frame cheaply and get them from the charity shop or the pound shop, they do loads in there. And the backing part that you have, take the glass out, discard of that, um, put the backing back in and paint the inside white. And it will give you a sign that looks really, really cute. Now you could do one or two things with this. The thing I'm gonna do is I thought was quite a cute idea and it's really cheap to do. So you can get from the range or the pound shop, some stencils. So I wanted to show you these because these were only 89p, so actually cheaper than the pound shop. These are from the range and these are really beautiful stencils. Um, and there's one on here that says Merry Christmas. And I think something like that in the middle with just a bit of paint dried on, which painted on, would look absolutely beautiful. And you get four of those, you can use them every year and you can use colored paints that are like blacks or forest greens. And you can also buy like tester pots from places like Wilco or just leftover paint that you have. I'm gonna be using these. They do do these in the pound shop um, and these are in the craft section. They also have these in the range as well. I'm telling you, because I know not everyone has a pound land near them, so I'm trying to give you other options because I know the range do online. Um, so I've got these letters. Now these are 50p each. If you go in the pound shop though, they are a pound each. So it is better getting these from places like the range or the works because then you will get them for 50p. So I've got these little wooden letters um, and they're 50p each and I thought 
It's a pound for your frame, for the canvas. If you get like the old Easter ones and stuff in the pound shop, you can get them for like 50p at this time of year. So it's always worth getting them in the sale. So I got my Easter one for 50p. These are also 50p each. This is gonna be a two pound craft. Um, but I got the letters J, O and Y because I thought we could stick in the word joy. Um, so these are actually got stickers on the back of these. These are already sticky, which is really, really cute. Um, which we can just stick in but before we do this they're really nice as they are I'm going to pop this back on because I do want to decorate these up so you could paint these but what I want to do with these to make them look really really beautiful is I've got a glue stick and I've got some gold leaf sheets so I bought these off of Amazon I've got some silver and some gold um, I think it was about five pounds for the two packs. I think you'd get a hundred and yeah, hundred sheets of silver and a hundred sheets sheets of gold. So two pound fifty. So you're talking it's literally pence for one of these sheets to use. Um, and you can get them other places, but this is just something I've already got in my craft stores that I will use. And um, I've just used it on a different craft that I've just done. Let me get my sheet out. I'm failing at getting my sheet out. Try and be as gentle as possible. It doesn't really matter because I'm gluing it on anyway. We're going to do it rustically. All you're going to need is a glue stick or PVA glue and then paint it on and then let it go tacky. I'm just going to use my glue stick for this. Um, if you're trying to make it look really bitty, then use PVA glue because I just had a bit of a foul with the, with the glue um, before. So then I'm just going to place my gold leaf on the top of this and I'm going to press it all the way down onto the letter. And then with my finger, I'm just going to roughly scrape round the edges of the J. So then my J is covered in um, gold leaf. So it will then be gold. But like I say, you can paint this. You can get little gold uh, poster paints from the pound shop if you wanted to. I just, I've got this in my store, so I try and do it the best way to show you the cheapest way possible, but then also try and use what I've already got in my cupboard, so then it's the cheapest possible way for me also. And I know a lot of you do crafting. I think I stuck it on the wrong back, it back in. Yeah, I think I did. I'm gluing them on anyway, so they are sticky, but because I've heavily painted that in chalk paint, um, I'm gonna glue these on to make them a bit more durable anyway. So we've got the J, I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the back to make sure it's completely durable. I'm just going to place this try and do it central, make sure my other letters are going to fit. And then I'm going to do the same with the O and I'm going to do it with the leftover piece of the sheet obviously. I'm going to do the same with the O and then the same with the Y again as well. So I'll probably speed this little bit up for you. Let's all from big to small Warm laughter and white smiles My presence stacked in pies Take me away Christmas Day Take me away And um, also as well, I have a little sandwich bag and I like to keep all these little bits in it for like, you know, like little tiny projects um, because then I feel like it makes it go a lot further. So all these little flakes I'll put in there and these are actually really nice. These leftover flakes are really good to put in them fillable baubles um, because then it makes them look really expensive and obviously it hasn't cost a lot to do. Tiny bit more glue there. Right, let's take this off. It's better once you take it off because then you can actually have a feel for where it needs to be folded down, etc., and smoothed out. But once the glue is completely dried, you can give this a little dust with a little soft brush and it will stick it down. It's just going to stick that as well so it's looking really really beautiful it doesn't look like it's two pound at all it looks really really beautiful it looks much more expensive something you could easily pay you know 15 pound for in somewhere like tk max or home sense um, and then what i am going to do is i do have lots and lots of ribbon 
The power shops sell lots of ribbon. You could even use twine um, to make the bows. This one is actually from Wilco. Um, so everything that I got, I made sure that they had, like what I done is I went into the pound shop, had a little look about to see what they had. And then whatever I had already at home, I then didn't buy in the pound shop. I just basically used what I had at home. So to make a really nice bow for the frame, I'm just gonna cut, you could make a normal bow, but this bow from Wilco, it's velvet look, but it's much cheaper. So it's got that plastic backing. So if you do a normal bow, you're gonna end up with one side like that. So the best way to do this is to just cut two lengths of the same and then cut them both, oh, both at an angle. Cut them both at an angle and then I'm gonna hot glue these on. Like and then we're going to make a bow as well so what you're going to need to do is get a piece of ribbon fold one piece in fold another piece in and then you're ending up with something like this um, so I'm going to glue this together basically in a circle. I'll show you step by step. So like a circle, like that. Then we're going to glue it together so you'll get that. Like pinch it together. So you'll end up with that, like a figure of eight. Then we're going to use just the piece that I cut off of one of the, the legs. And I'm just going to tie that round and then glue that on. So just snip that. And then we've got a really nice little bow. And then with a bit of glue on the back of that, then you pop that up the top there. And then you've got the most beautiful little sign and it's literally cost you two pound obviously if you have to buy the ribbon then three pound but i know that a lot of you already do crafting and to be honest with you for how beautiful that looks up close i don't think you're going to get that for that cheap um so i'll show you i'll finish making the trees and then i'll show you what it all looks like together so these are the finished items and i think they look so so expensive you would never ever know that all of these items were purchased from the pound shop that you can get from the pound shop and um, so here are the trees they're really really cute i've made another star even more dodgy than the first one may i add um, and i just glued a little bit of that like gold flock to it and um, like gold leaves so they're the little trees i've done a slightly shorter height for a bit of variation here is the jar which is just absolutely beautiful and then here is our sign. Um, I'm not too sure what my favourite one is, but actually I love all of these bits together. And I think with the hot chocolate stand and the bits of red that I've got in my kitchen, I think I definitely might style these three bits up in my kitchen as they really go lovely. Um, so let me know what one's your favourite. Um, yeah, I just think they're beautiful. So I've been Rosie Henshaw, guys. See you later. Take care. Bye.